Welcome back to realvacantland.com. This is Luke Smith. I'm laughing because I'm looking at the picture in the background. I, I, I thought I'd pull up a toilet because I got some land where we can have composting toilets. And now this, this isn't a composting toilet. This is a waste a lot of water toilet, water and paper. But uh, it sets the mood, right? So where can we have a piece of land we can go build on with a composting toilet? I'll show you. Let's jump into it. This is Navajo County, Arizona. And uh, I'm asking $799 for this property, $799. Bucks. It's uh, a little over three acres. Let's play with the maps. So I got the maps uh, set up here, zoomed into the property. There's a little road on the western side of this thing. So we can go here, you know, you could drive up to it. And this looks like, you know, you probably want four-wheel drive to get through these these little washes and stuff this road's on. This is does not look like your Toyota Prius kind of road. This looks like your, I got a truck and I know how to use it kind of road. So you drive up to it, and there's some bushes, juniper trees on there. I mean, you could probably drive a school bus in there if you went slow enough. You just go, you know, putzing along, take different routes till you get back there. We get there, and then it goes from this road to the wash. It goes to the center of the wash. A little over three acres. Um, let's zoom out. I'll show you where we're at in the world. So we got uh, Taylor and Pine Top over here. If we go Snowflake, not Pine Top. What am I saying? Snowflake's a town over here. Snowflake, Taylor. South of there is uh, Sholo, Pine Top. And uh, there's Home Depot down here. There's Walmart up here. There's uh, fast food, gas stations, um, banks, post office. Uh, I'm not sure there's a hospital, but I think there's some medical centers um, you know, like ASAP or what do you call it? You know, emergency kind of medical kinds of places you can go to. There's there's uh, Ace Hardware. <laughs> My local Ace Hardware closed. They used to go there all the time. I never figured how they really made money selling nuts and bolts. But, yeah, they... Uh, there's one just around the corner. So when you need the right plumbing, there's a nut and the bolt and the right screw to put your place together. Ace Hardware right there, really close to the property. So uh, in a previous video, I was mentioning something about buying the property while you're standing on the property. And I was wondering if there's good data out here. I pulled up Verizon. Verizon had um, just their basic, basic data. Not Verizon. I pulled up T-Mobile. T-Mobile had the basic data. And um, so now I pulled up Verizon. So let's pull up Verizon, and it's just a sea of red. Verizon's got data, so you could probably live off of Verizon connection out here. You just do a mobile hotspot for your internet. And I mean, this whole area's got got coverage. I mean, town, country, this, the whole region where this property's at. There's a couple little spots behind a couple hills over here that are vacant, but I mean, it it looks like they really, really got coverage over here. Verizon does, and following the roads back up to town. If you zoom out. Whoa, zoomed way out. And you go over to Phoenix coverage, San Diego, where I'm at. I mean, they got coverage all over the place. So we'll pull up a different map. This is a different map of the market. This is Realtor.com. I'm usually pulling up Zillow or other websites. But for today, let's look at Realtor.com. So we can look at all these different websites. We see a lot of the same listings. And, um, you know, if mine were in there, which they should be, mine would be the cheapest, cheap, cheapo but mine are reserved for you guys. You guys have found the cheapest ones in the area and you followed them back where they're coming from. You're swimming up the stream, getting to ruralvacantland.com, and that's where we got the cheapest land. So I'm asking $799 for this property that, I'm, that I've got posted right now, and I've got the market pulled up in the area. So this is the same area we we're just looking at the property, the properties in here, and it's the same area we we're just looking at the cell coverage. Verizon's got high-speed internet coverage in this area. Um, and the cheapest land is one acre for $2,900. I'm asking $799 and mine is three acres. So mine's like three times, almost three times the size of these guys. Um, and less than a third of the price. So I think that's a good just juxtaposition to be in. <laughs> I think mine will probably sell before theirs. And that's the point. That's why I price them this way. That's, that's the idea. Um, so here's another one, 4,000 bucks for a quarter of an acre, 4,000 for a quarter, 4,400 for a quarter. Um, yeah, just a bunch of different, the, the prices go up and up. These are small properties. The prices go up and up. Mine's a little over three acres. 
So there we go. We got the cell phone in the area. We got the cheapest price and we got land that you don't have to build a septic tank on. And so if I go back to this, uh, this picture here, the toilet, that was my main point. You can drive up to this land and you can move in with an RV. And I think you can stay for two months without doing any regulatory stuff. That's my understanding. Please check with the county and verify what the, your understanding of their, their rules are. But my understanding of the rules is you can go in there for two months without setting up a septic system. And then if you go from there, they want you to set up a septic system so you have a plan to get rid of a plan and a place and a way to get rid of the poo. And you got to get a permit and you got to dig and you got to bury the thing and you got to make it go down and stay down, right? The other way of doing it is uh, you could use a composting toilet, you know, which is usually like wood chips or shavings. And, um, you know, you do your business in there, you add some more chips or shavings on until you got a bucket full of them. And then you go dump the bucket somewhere, you compost it. And um, that, that, uh, that usually works pretty well. So there's that that way works and then with the black water from the house the stuff that comes from the sink the stuff that comes from the um, dishwasher the garbage disposal like those kinds of things that water you've got to have a plan so if you make a plan and you log that plan with the county the plan requires that you get that stuff underground I think it's like four or five feet underground please go read their their um, paperwork and talk to them and ask but it just got to be buried like it could be under wood chips and stuff i mean it doesn't have to be fully you know go read their rules you just get a pipe send that stuff down that pipe and get that underground get the plan get it set up and then you can do it without a septic tank so you don't need a full-on septic system the other plumbing from the house from like your shower and your sink water and that kind of like wash your hands sink um, that can go into the yard and water trees and plants grass whatever you got going on cactuses or something so you can do that. You can get by on the cheap with this kind of land, $799 land, really cheap, easy land. And then you can go make it your own and by cutting the other corners, the other hurdles that a lot of places put in front of you to developing the land. So if you're interested in that, go take a look at this one, talk to the county, you know, navigate your way through the rules on your own. I'm just giving you some, some pointers and uh, my phone keeps ringing and ringing. I got to get off and grab this call. Talk to you guys in the next one. Thank you.